So you've got the film camera ready to go, but you just can't afford to buy the film to feed it. This video will show you how to shoot film and develop film for less than the price of a high street, very popular brand of coffee. Hello, Matt here. So here's the situation. You go to your fridge, you open the door to get some fresh film and the fridge is completely empty. You need film and you look at the prices on Amazon for the popular film stocks, Kodak, Portra, uh, Fuji, and they just seem astronomically high. Film prices are going up year on year, so I wanted to make a video to help those that want to shoot film that can't afford to pay the, the high street prices for the, the popular brands. So yes, let's step into the studio and I'll share with you the films I buy, the equipment I use, and then if you stay with me, I'll then also share how to develop your film. So option one, this is Foma Pan 100 Classic 36 Exposure Roll ISO 100 Film. Now, if you're living in Europe, you may find that you can buy this even cheaper than we can in the UK. Let me know in the comments below how much you're getting this film for. I found the cheapest price I could find in the UK. This is going to be my go-to film. I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to shoot the same film stock and master one film stock rather than using lots of different film stocks. I've got great results from foam and pan in the past. I've used it quite extensively over the years. 35mm, 120 and 4x5. Feel free to check out the mrlacker.com blog if you want to see lots of example photos. So option one, you buy film which is pre-packed and kind of ready to go. But there is a cheap option. The cheapest option I'm aware of is this. This is a tin containing a 100 foot roll of foam pan 100 film. So if you're new to photography, you're probably saying to me, yes, but how do I get it from here into my camera? Good question. So although this is cheaper per roll, you do first need to buy a bootloader, which is gonna increase your cost. So if you're only shooting a few rolls of film, I would do option one and buy it pre-cut, pre-rolled. But option two, if you shoot a lot of film, this is a cheaper option once you've bought the bootloader and if you're shooting in enough kind of tins of film. So basically the film goes out of here into here in the dark. And there you go, there's already film loaded in here. This is movie film. This is fresh film coming out, which would be the same as your foamer pan if the foamer pan was inside. What you need to do is then attach an old film spool, keep the end bit, tape it on, put it in, then attach the handle, crank the handle, and then count off 36 exposures. And then you can have 36 exposures of foam pan 100 on a reusable cartridge. You can either buy blanks or you can reuse your old cartridges. So this is the cheapest way of shooting any film as I'm aware of in the UK in 2021. Book rolls of 100 foot foam pan 100 classic. And then the second cheapest option that I can find is a pre-cut foam and pan 100 film. For the next part of the video, it's getting a little bit geeky. So we have the the geeky glasses. So in the UK, the cheapest I can find is option one, 36 exposure, FOMA 100, 10 pack, giving me a cost of £3.33 per 38 exposure. Because I get 38 exposure on every 36 with the, the cameras that I use, uh, just if you load it carefully, you can get 38. And then option two, the cheaper option is to use 100 foot foam pan 100 bulk roll and that equates to 18 rolls of film which then equates to two pounds five p for that's around i think it's around 37 exposures if you want to be exact because the amount of the length of film works out to be around 37 exposures times 18 rolls that's how you, you tie it back so the cheapest option is if you bulk roll but the downside is number one you need to shoot a lot number two time to basically bulk load it all scratches is possible I found one I've bought loaded film before. Certain films like Foam and Pan can scratch easier than other films, so I had a problem with scratching with a cheap bolt loader. So for that reason, I pay the higher price of £3.33. That is fast, <laughs> second cheapest, and it works really well for anybody because you don't need any no equipment required. So that is how I buy my black and white film. £3.33 divided by 38 exposures means it's going to cost me 8.7 pence per photo and then hopefully that means i'm going to shoot more so as a result cheap film equals shoot more equals practice makes perfect equals happy matty <laughs> how do i develop film for 18p per roll first you need some kodak x powder this comes as two sachets and you mix the sachets together and it makes you five litres. I do extol one to four 
developing. That means I use 200 mil plus 800 mil tap water. The next thing I do is I buy the extrol for 15 pounds per litre. So 200 mil plus 800 mil gives me one litre of solution. And then one litre of solution, I develop six rolls of film. And that equals the equivalent of 150 rolls per pack, which equals 10p per roll. Uh, so that's developing. You may want to add a little rodinol or rodinol. Excuse the colour, this is a slightly older bottle. I use 2.5 millilitres of this. If you add a rodinol, £12 for 500 mil, but I only use 2.5 millilitres per litre of solution, which equals six rolls of film. So that basically means it's free, 0.2p per roll. And I add it with a syringe. Okay, so that's the developing done. Then we need to fix the film, so we need fixer. This is my fixer. This is Kodak T-Max Professional Fixer. This one litre bottle will make up five litres of solution. And that costs me £11 per litre. But then the key is, as long as you develop 30 rolls per one litre of dilution, that'll let you develop 150 rolls per bottle, which basically equals 7p per roll of film. 200 ml of extol diluted solution, 800 ml of water with 2.5 ml of rodinol, which is kind of optional. And that'll give me a 1 to 4 ratio for extol developing. 10p here, and then we've got the 7p here, and then we've got a tiny bit for rodinol if you want to include that. So it's going to be less than 18p per roll for developing black and white film. Based on, as I say, 6 rolls of film for developing and 30 rolls of film for fixing. If you only develop one roll of film at a time and fix one roll of film and then throw the chemicals away, the same chemicals are going to be much more expensive. And if you lasted to the end of this video, bonus tip, I shoot 35mm Fomapan between ISO 50 to say ISO 400. I find if you overexpose it, i.e. shoot it at ISO 50, you tend to get finer grain. And that tends to be my preference, but you can get it to ISO 400 and I develop it more or less the same. If it's ISO 50 to ISO 200, I develop it with no change. If I expose the film at ISO 400, I'll give it maybe a little bit longer when I'm developing. However, if you shoot the 120 for my pan 100, I've shot that at ISO 800 and still got really nice results. Here are a few example photos shot with a Mami S6 a medium format camera. As much as I love the 35mm foam pan, I would say 120 foam pan is even better. The larger negative size gives a finer grain look, which I really like. So I think I need to dig out my Hasselblad and other cameras again. As always, a big thanks to my patrons and see you in the next video. Bye. I can actually see you with these on. <laughs>